Hello again, Brooks Gibbs here. Oh my gosh, I get to share some more stories with you. I love telling stories. Now, we've talked about preparing the garden in our last video that we went through. Now we're gonna talk about planting the seeds. Now, I hope you followed through with what I asked you to do, which was to write down all of those things that were the weeds and the rocks and things that were in your garden, making it difficult to plant and grow the type of garden that you wanted to harvest and have. If you haven't, you get back and do that because it will make the difference. Preparing the soil, preparing your mind and getting rid of all those things that are not there to help you will make all the difference in the world after you now begin to plant your seeds which is what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about planting, planting and nurturing your seeds. Growing the garden that you want to grow and have in your life. You know, when you get ready to plant a garden, one of the first things that you're probably gonna do, just like clearing the garden and you wrote down the notes, well, what you wanna do is plan your garden. What sorts of things do I want to harvest? What would I like to have my garden produce? What is it that I would like to find in my life? Joy, happiness, friendships, honor, financial success, health. Just write down the things that you want, the things that you want to harvest. That's what you want to do because like the garden, I want to have fruits and vegetables. The fruits I'd like to have would be, oh, tomatoes. <laughs> a fresh tomato off of the vine is so good. Oh, I'd like to have corn, potatoes, peas. Oh, man. Fresh potatoes, peas, corns, carrots, peppers. Oh, that would be great. Let's see. I think I'd also like to have some lettuce, maybe some cabbage. Oh, what about fruits? Would I like to have some berries and apples and other things? Well, of course, you plan for the things that you want to put in your garden. And as you plan them, you look and say, well, I need to know a little bit about that. How much water are they going to need? How much sun are they going to need? How do I prepare the soil so that they can be successful and grow? Because they won't all just grow in the same space. What time of year do I need to plant them? That's part of planting the garden. And as you plant the garden, you prepare the soil, you water it, you plant the seed. You put the seed in the ground and you mark it. You know where those seeds are. You know what's going to be there because you're going to care for that area. You're going to watch where that grows. You're going to plant the other seeds in the other part of the garden where that's going to go. Your tomatoes are going to be over here. Oh, it's going to be so exciting when those tomatoes start to come up and you get to take care of them. And over here, the beans, oh man, they're going to grow over the top of this rack that a cage that I'm building so the beans can be there. The peas, i got to plant those early because it gets too hot for them and they won't survive. So I'm going to plant them over here. And then when I take those out and I'm get done, I'm going to plant my peppers. That's going to be there afterwards. And you know, I also want to plant some flowers around the garden. So you plan your garden. And then you plant and then you nurture it. And now, because you know where you planted and prepared all the things, you come over and know, I get to water this part of my garden. And I get to check to see how things are going. I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to check on my things, on my tomato plants, and to make sure they're okay. You can make sure that you're nurturing them. That's what you're going to do. You're going to come out in a few weeks and you're going to go, oh my gosh, look at that. I can see, I can see that the plant has poked up. It's just barely poked through the soil. I can see the leaves growing. What's this around it? Well, that shouldn't be there. That's, that's a grass. That's weeds. I, I don't want that there. What am I going to do? Duh. You're going to pull the weeds. You're going to nurture the plant. You're going to clear the stuff that's in the way of the, of the plant growing to its fullness. And you're going to water it. And you're going to fertilize it. And you're going to trim and prune and nurture it so that it can grow to be its fullest potential. That's what you do if you want your garden to thrive. 
You don't just let it go and hope for the best. Well, what does that mean to you in your life? What it means is you got to plan your life. You got to plan what you want to accomplish and know that you have to plant the appropriate seeds. If you want to have good relationships, then you need to know that you're planting in your relationships and you need to invest time in those relationships that you want. You need to seek understanding of what does this relationship need? How much sunlight? How much time? How much caring? What's important to this plant? Because what's important to this plant may not be as important to this one, which is another relationship. And if you look at the different plants and the things they have, and you're conscious of what they are, you will feed them the right nutrients, and they will thrive and they will grow. That's the important part of understanding your garden. Now, guess what? In your relationships, there's going to be some weeds and some thistles and thorns and things that are going to come up. And if you just let them, oftentimes those grow so much faster than the plant that they will engulf the plant and take all of the nutrients that are in that area. And if you continue to water the weeds, guess what will grow? The weeds, not the plant. So when you discover in your relationships or things that you've got weeds, it's time for you to pluck them out and move them to the side and care for the plant. Because as you care for the plant, it'll grow. And as you pull away the things that are taking away from the relationship with the plant, you'll give it more of an opportunity to become its fullest potential. So here's my challenge to you. You are the garden. Your thoughts, your perceptions, and then your actions will determine how successful your garden's going to be. Plan your garden. Plan your life. Plan your relationships. Plan your future. Plan your finance. Take the steps to plant the seeds. Discover what each one of those seeds needs to be nurtured, to be cared for, to grow. Maybe that's education. Maybe that's experience. Maybe that's relationships. Maybe that's time. Maybe that's finances. But understand what it is and what it will take to nurture that to its potential. If you do that in your life, and you are conscious of what you're planting, and you're conscious of your thoughts, because the weeds come from here. The minute you start to look at that and go, oh my gosh, I'm not so sure. You got some weeds coming up, and it's time to pluck the weeds. So, here's your opportunity. Take some time. Remember that journal we talked about? Here's your journal. Boom. It's time to do some writing in that journal. Write the things that you want in your life. Write them down. And then take the time to say, what is it going to be for each one of those major things? What am I going to need to do to invest when I plant that seed to ensure that I can care for it? Because if you do that and you take the actions to care for it every time, you will find that your garden will absolutely grow and everything will reach to its potential and you will find joy and happiness in your life. This is one of the little lessons of life, preparing, planting your garden. I urge you to take the time to plan, prepare, and plant your garden and find your joy. I'm Brooks Gibbs. Let's get together and we'll talk about harvesting your garden here in the next. Take care.